Astramudi wetland, which is the Ramsar site of Kerala. And um, after going through Sastam Kota and uh, Vembanad, I am here, uh, standing in front of uh, this huge uh, wetland, which is a wetland of international importance. Vembanad is the uh, largest uh, in terms of the backwater system. Now, Astramudi is the second largest uh, backwater system of Kerala. It looks like sea and ocean. Here, uh, you'll find more uh, flow of the water. The current of the water is more. Vembanad has got less, but here you find more. Because this uh, Astramudi wetland is just uh, goes to the Arabian Sea. Very far, you'll see there's Arabian Sea is there. And you see all around here, there's the plantations are there, coconut tree and all this. Now, there are three rivers linked with uh, Ashtamudi wetland. One is Kalada, second is Chendurni, and third is Kalada Pura. The three rivers uh, will link with Ashtamudi wetland here. And uh, since uh, sea water of Arabian Sea gets inside this particular uh, wetland, the water is not fresh water, it is a saline water. I'll just uh, demonstrate, I'll just test the water in front of me. And so that you know that uh, exactly what is the water is all about. And uh, you find it's a salt water. The water is uh, very brackish, it's not fresh water. And um, since I said that, sea water coming to this. But one thing I'll tell you that water from this wetland is uh, purified filtered and used for drinking purpose for the people who live in uh, Kollam town. Since this wetland is located in Kollam district of uh, Kerala, the drinking water supply comes from this particular wetland. This wetland is also near to three important sanctuaries. One is called uh, uh, Nayar Wildlife Sanctuary, second is Pepara and uh, this uh, Sendurni. Sendurni is, uh, uh, because I have said the river there, but though they are not very near, very a uh, bit far away from this uh, Ramsar site. Another aspect you should know that uh, here right now, not much tourist you can see that. Not many people are there. And uh, but um, during the time of festive season, uh, one very important uh, event, sports for which Kerala is known as Vellang Kali. Vellang means water, Kali means sport. So snake boat with uh, hundreds of the people who are there on the boat and the boat race and that is what you find in the this particular wetland also there so i just want to make you understand is that wetlands are of diverse type they are different types of ecosystems you should not have that misconception that marshy areas swampy areas pitland fen are only the wetlands wetlands can be freshwater lakes Wetlands can be brackish water lake, wetlands can be backwaters, wetlands can be lagoons and example of this kind of a system there. What you see right now uh, um, in the video here. This uh, wetland has been designated as Ramsar site by the government of India and uh, during winter you will find uh, migratory birds which arrive, which arrive in this particular uh, wetland and uh, that that time you ref it reflects the true nature of the lake and uh, biodiversity of the uh, this wetland i am really very much uh, feeling uh, enthusiastic to be here and discussing all this uh, content with all of you people there uh, it gives me immense pleasure to um, be here in this part of the wetland and um, experiencing the real life uh, aspect of the wetland concept there. One more thing I would like to add, you will not find here a uh, floating vegetation. Right? You won't find uh, that kind of thing because uh, the, this backwater looks like a sea and ocean. Even you have the uh, water waves also there, which is uh, because of the continuous flow from the sea and ocean, you will find this one. So uh, it is a really uh, very wonderful experience and uh, I am loving it and in the classroom I will be discussing a lot of aspects of uh, uh, wetlands, 
different type of wetlands what our country has got. We have 26 Ramsar sites in the country. We will be learning about the Ramsar site description and uh, that will be really relevant for the examination because UPC goes beyond textbook. You will also find all these concepts discussed in my environment book. You will find uh, in my book uh, I have given a description about each and every Ramsar site and is based on my uh, personal experience to such kind of site here. So I um, will be sharing such thing more in the classroom there which uh, will help you learn the concept of wetlands, learn about Ramsar convention, importance of wetlands, threats to wetlands and the conservation aspect of it. So I am feeling delighted here. So I um, will just a uh, uh, small part of it. Just, uh, I'll take close to the uh, lake. You can see the greenish color lake and uh, the continuous flow of the water there. So you'll be provided with more information. Soon I'll be uh, giving you so many information on it. So um, thank you everyone.